Hi, I'm Michelle Batetti. I'm the Food and Beverage Director for DFMWR at Fort Gordon. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a tomato bruschetta. So what you're going to do, first ingredient, you're going to get all your mise en place together, first of all, which mise en place means everything in place, all your ingredients in place. You're going to uh, get, I like to use the Roma tomatoes. Um, try to get them as ripe as possible. Sometimes it's a little hard uh, in the winter time to find good ripe tomatoes. Um, what you want to do is get them and you're going to cut, dice them up. Dice them small, because you, what you want to do is you want to put them either on a crostini, or if you're on a diet, you can put them on a kale chip, or you can actually take this and turn it into even a pasta dish. So you want to take it and throw it into your bowl. And you want to use about eight uh, tomatoes. So once you get your tomatoes all chopped, I like to go ahead and put a little salt on them, and a little pepper. I like to use, again, kosher salt, a little black pepper. Toss them around a little bit. What I like to do is also, before you start adding your olive oil and your other spices, once you let them sit for a little bit with the salt, the moisture starts coming out of them. So I like to put them in a colander and let the moisture drain out before you start adding anything else. So let them sit there. In the meantime, you can come and get your fresh garlic. I like to use a lot of fresh garlic. I'm Italian, so as you know, I like to, I do a lot of cooking, Italian cooking, and I use, I use a lot of fresh garlic. Once you get your your tomatoes drained and your garlic chopped, you can go ahead and put your garlic in. And the next thing, I always add a little cheese to mine. I usually get a blend of uh, Romano, Asiago, and Parmesan. And I put a little bit of that in there. And then fresh basil. It's unbelievable. Fresh basil, you can grow it year round, you can grow it in your house. Um, for Italians, it's like air freshener. Put it in your car. It's the best thing in the world. You're going to roll it, and you're just going to come down. You're going to roll it and slice it really, really thin, and just throw it in there. And then what you want to do is you want to put a little bit more pepper and a little bit more salt because you you know, as you went and drained it, some of that came off. So you want to make sure, and you want to taste it to make sure. Then you want to use a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, just a little bit to coat it. And then I always give a little kick. I like uh, balsamic is one of my favorite. And I like fig balsamic or cherry flavored, if you can find that. But I like the glaze. The glaze is a little bit thicker, so it's it's because it's reduced. And so if you see when it comes out, it's a little bit better than just the vinegar. And I like to put a little bit of that in there because it gives it a little extra kick. And then you're just going to toss it up. And the best thing to do with this is I like to um, make it ahead of time. And I like to cover it and let it sit in the refrigerator for a few hours. And that gives the time for all the flavors to infuse. And it really, the garlic and everything will pick up. But this is a good snack. And that's why I did this. So you could put this in a cup take it to work, put it on um, like some kind of pita chip that's baked. This way you have a snack while you're at your desk. So it's a great, it's great and it's, and it's absolutely delicious. So thank you.